What's up guys, this is Seti. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, we are going to be talking about primitive data types in Java. And when you say the word primitive, it almost makes it sound like if you were to come up to me and call me primitive, it would be insulting. It's sort of insulting to call the data types primitive, but they're not, they're not non-important at all. They're actually very important to the language because everything is built on primitive data types all the object all objects every single data type collections re relies on primitive data types it's almost like the relationship to subatomic particles subatomic particles make up atoms and they make up everything and it's no different in programming languages most programming languages and there there's four categories of them and we'll just get out of here and we're going to get go onto the whiteboard and we're going to talk about these four types we have integer we have floating point number we have character and we have boolean so integer integer is we talked about this briefly in the last one and integer is literally just a whole number um, cannot be a decimal can't be a fraction and it must be positive or negative. A floating point number is a decimal. Just think about it as a decimal, same thing. It can be positive or negative, but it cannot be a whole number. Character, a character is denoted by, just the, the trick to remember what a, a character is, and sometimes you just may, it just may be a char, like you just may hear it referred to as a char, is it's one letter and it's an A, or it's a type of byte uh, Unicode, and Unicode is denoted by slash zero 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 U, and that will that is actually a character in Unicode, but not going to go into Unicode because don't want to confuse people. Boolean is just true false, and w beneath these or within these there are subtypes. Okay, so for each category there are different subtypes beneath each one and integer we will start off first because most it is probably the most common so the very first and i'm going to go from smallest to largest the smallest int is going to be the byte the byte is the smallest sort of uncommon you really don't see it that much good to know nonetheless because you may be in a situation where you try to put a number that's too large into a byte and it only has the range from 120 negative 127 to positive 127 no decimals and if you try to go over that it's going to give you an error so short another very common uncommon and it's going to be uh anywhere from negative 32768 to positive 32,767. And once again, if you go over that, you will get an error. Uh, next one is going to be the int. The int is the most common by far, and you get a huge uh, range. It's uh, in the 2 billion. So 2 billion, 147, 483, 648. And I'll put type of or I uh, write down a more legible version so 2 billion 147 800 2 billion 147 8036 647 and that's going to be any range and you really don't need to, you need to know the ballpark but in real life you don't need to know any of that and if you're remembering that for a college course that's probably where it's going to show up the most so next one is going to be the long the long is so long it's i'm talking i'll just write it down so we'll just go nine two two three 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 seven two oh three six eight five four seven seven five eight oh so that number any number between this number negative or positive and you should be good to go but long's gonna have you covered if you need something else you're probably gonna have to look into exponential notation i have no idea i've never seen there's never seen a number that large before so let's go ahead and let's talk about floating point numbers floating point numbers 
are going to be any type of decimal. So whenever you think of floating point, really just think a decimal point. That's, uh, that's really all that it is. And this is going to be the most common is just going to be a float and a double. So float, let's see, float and a float is you have seven decimal places. You can go seven decimal places negative, seven dec decimal places positive. Just so if you really just want to know like the hack, it's seven decimal places. You you get seven decimal places, but if you want to know the real scientific notation, it's four exponent negative 45. And the next one is going to be a double and a double is sort of like the long. It's just like an at astronomical. So 4.9 um, negative 324. And I'm not really good at math. I'm not a math person at all. So kind of on your own there. But um, you get 14. It's going to be 14 decimal places. So if you can... If you need more than 14 decimal places, I'm sorry, I don't, I can't help you from there, but that sounds like an interesting problem to be taking on. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's talk about Booleans. So Booleans are going to be the most simple of them all. Boolean is very, very simple. So Boolean, it is just kind of the way, it, is, it doesn't even have any other subcategory and there's really no min or max value, it's just true or false. Okay, so next is going to be char and bring this back up here. Got character char. Um, what you want to know about chars, and there's no min or max value as well either. A char, and just since we don't need any of that, I'll just give you guys a, the lowdown on what a char is. So the trick to remembering what a char is, is it's single quote. So you just have single quotes and it's it'll have one single letter inside of it. If it's double quotes, that is not, that is actually a string. So a string is going to be uh, denoted by the quote. So if you have an A within quotes like that, it's not a char. And what a char stands for and what it's translated into is what is called Unicode. And the reason we still have them in the first place one way to think about a string, and we haven't talked about strings yet because strings are not a primitive type, but you may be aware of what they are. A string, so if I have Teddy, a string is actually an array of char. So you have uh, T, so you have T, E, D, D, and that is an array, and we haven't talked about array yet, but an array is just all of these values in one place, in uh, one collection. And we'll talk about arrays, but that's essentially what a character is, kind of confusing, but just remember, uh, single quotes is how you denote a character. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. That's primitive data types. It's kind of a lot. <laughs> but if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.